All right, so let's put all this stuff together with all these S pluses and S minuses and turning them into SDs and S deltas and SDPs or SD minuses. Anyway, um, so how do, we, how do we do all this? How do we put it together? The, there's a misconception or a misunderstanding or a misstatement that exists where people think that um, you just need the SD, the SD and reinforce, SD and reinforce, SD and reinforce. Well, that doesn't teach a discrimination. If anything, you're probably doing something along the lines of a motivating operation or a condition motivating operation or something like that. To develop an SD, you need a behavior to occur more frequently in the presence of one stimulus than in another. It's going to get reinforced in one presence of one stimulus and not reinforced in another. You, you get it? So we got the S plus. But so if we have the S plus, which is going to be your SD, right? So the behavior happens in the presence of that earns a reinforcer. But you also have to have another context, another discriminative stimulus, some other, not a discriminative stimulus, another stimulus to work against, to say we're going to do more than this context. And then this, that one would be the um, S minus. Right? So the behavior has to occur in the S plus condition and also in the S minus condition. It's just that one's going to receive more reinforcement. There's the discrimination. It's really that simple. You have to have both. Now, what is the S minus? Again, those are either S deltas, they become S deltas, or they become um, SD minuses or SDPs. So the discrimination for punishment. So in the example that I've been using throughout this stuff, talking about behavior analysis is the discriminated behavior. If I do it in the presence of you or at a conference, it's going to leave a reinforcer. So there's an S plus. If I do it in the presence of my mother, it's going to be an S minus, um, which will probably turn into an S delta, because remember, she just goes, then if I do it in the presence of my daughter, it turns into an S D minus, and she flings shoes at me and smacks me with the shoes. Of course, I'm joking about all the stuff, but it's an example, folks. So don't forget, you have to have the behavior in multiple contexts. Otherwise, you're not doing discrimination training. It's that simple.